What's going on guys, Dane here and welcome back to my Heroes Man and we got the long awaited, much overdue and a finally fully realized Astral Gear, I hope is the name of the stuff guide of what the heck is going on with it, how to get it, what it does, where to put it on and uh, everything going on in both Crystal Ball, Astral Lab and also never forget Astral Gear which is a tab for those of you who don't know because I didn't know until very recently you just click right there. This is where you put it on, man. It's right above your character. If you knew, you knew, but everybody been asking in the comments, so like, why ain't you telling nobody, man? Now here's the deal. Here's the deal. There's a lot going on with this stuff, right? And it's actually an amazing system that you can't be missing out on right now. There's no way you can miss out on it. And now that I have all this free time, cause it's the weekend and I suddenly don't have to be repiping an entire freaking mansion. I'm just gonna take a second to just breathe in the fact that I have a little free time. I can finally answer comments. I can finally get back in the discord all that you know, I'm gonna be hitting this event harder than you've ever seen I'm gonna wail for diamonds as a matter of fact because I've missed so many days of being able to hit it That I, I, just, I just need to do as much as I can because that's where you're gonna get the materials from they are event Materials currently now. I'm gonna tell you what to do with all these materials right now You need to be rift 80 to hit this event in the first place if you're not there yet Just worry about getting there man I've put just gear guide after gear guide after gear guide out on how to get yourself strong enough to do so, how to build all that. No matter what class you are, you should know how to build at this point. If not, check some of them out. They're gorgeous, but if you're at Rift 80, you need these. You want these. You love these. And how do you get these and what do you do with them? Well, these have set effects. So I'm going to be building towards this Hermit Badge fire one first right i like this one a lot it's gonna give me my uh, amaterasu level plus one with the set bonus that's disgusting of course i'm gonna be building towards the hermit badge of fire so uh, her well this is hermit badge i need the hermit heart and the hermit belt and the hermit horn to get the set effect that's what these are these are nasty set effects that give you crazy set bonuses this one right here is giving me an anti-magic effect when i go into the event that's giving me plus 144. It does look like Astral Expedition is here to stay and the bosses are going to be rotating. Don't quote me on that, but that's what it, this is kind of alluding to. I can't imagine the system getting randomly taken out. There'd be no point in doing the event in the first place. These are the reason that the event is here. So that being said, there's going to be more ways to get this stuff. That being said, there's probably going to be more sets and more stars and more stuff like that. But these also give you stats on top of that. You can upgrade them, all that. I'll show you how to do so. But beyond just a set effects, a bonuses, and a passives, and a, you know all that good stuff, you have the entire Astro Lab, which is directly tied into this. Hear me out, real quick, man. It's a separate gear system. That's a gear system. Goes on your head, chest, belt, shoes, everything, just like cards do, just like your regular gear does. All that. This is a gear system for your character for passives that are just overpowered. Now, I was doing this a little incorrect at first, so I wasted a little currency. It's okay, I'm a whale for currency, man. Don't be like me. Don't waste your time and then realize you gotta make content and get stronger quickly, so you gotta spend a little bit of that dinero uh, to fix your mistakes. I got you covered, man. I got you covered. Here's how this works to a T. Now, you have star rings and you have constellations and you use star chess not not the astral gear you star chess these are not chests with a t don't get it twisted man these are chess so what do you do with these well there's a thing called astrolab effect now you get these by putting things in the star ring to begin with now each ring is going to have a separate bonus all right i'm gonna explain it out for you real quick now i have three things in here's three star chests that have a fire element in the internal circle right here in the uh, circle number two right all three of these have fire available to them that means my astrolab effect because they all share fire if they shared another thing as well which is uh, probably a low probability but if they do you can choose what to activate here now i have seed of flame activated in my second circle because i have three fire element star chest the element is the only thing that matters then the effect you get for putting them in is what happens they don't have stats they don't have anything like that they give you these astrolab effects and this one is giving me when i cast a fire skill i have a 25 percent chance of creating a flame seed 
Picking it up can increase fire damage by 14% and it is very noticeable. 14% fire damage is a dream item and I actually have a hat that does it as well. I love this effect right here. I'm going to put it in the outer ring. I need one more flame piece, but I'm going to tell you why that's going to be a little difficult for me to do, but I'm going to see if I can make it pop. Now, my internal circle, I have Brave. A damage bonus plus 1%. Doesn't matter. I'm going to be getting rid of this. He's a filler piece right now. Your Brave circle is kind of your weakest circles. The heroes in town. This is like your default. Like, you just need a filler damage bonus until you actually have some star chests. And then you're going to be breaking these down, I promise you. They are not as crazy as you would want them to be. They take up room. Damage bonus plus 1% is all you're going to be getting out of that because it is a star chest doll. It's not your character. You're not getting a bonus for your character being in here. These are filler. I have them in the center for now. I'm going to be moving him the heck away from there. Pronto. As a matter of fact, I could do something crazy and put like a, like a flame piece in the middle, but I do need another flame piece to begin with because if I move this check me out real quick they do different things in different circles you're gonna get the full experience on how to make them and what to do with them where to get the currency and all that I can put this fire piece in the center and I can even switch to the activated red fire for fire attack I'm gonna do that pronto if I can get away with it let's talk about why I might not be able to but hopefully I can man hopefully I can I haven't done the numbers on it yet but that's what they do each star ring does something crazy uh if I put the fire in here if I put four fire outward you can actually see what it does in the ring section uh fire is the Mars star ring so in the center you get fire plus a 30 which we just saw by putting a fire piece in there and choosing it my star ring 2 effect is right here and star ring 3 is just stronger if I put four fire pieces in the outer ring which would be a gorgeous dream come true now there's other things going on called groups and these are what are quote unquote constellations they're called groups in the actual star ring diary I'm working towards hazy moon fire as long as I have these items somewhere on my board right if I have the burning feather the night crow the trio jade the shadow of the dark moon the hazy moon and the Lee Wu on my board I'm gonna be able to get a constellation effect called hazy moon fire what does it do I have no idea but it says fire on it so I'm working towards it I have the burning feather I have the night crow I have the trio jade I need the shadow of the dark moon I need the hazy moon I have the Lee Wu I need two things that are not gonna be the easiest to come by but I'm gonna work towards them right now that's my next thing and then you get the group effect I would highly suggest having your favorite uh, con your favorite ring effect on the outer ring of four piece and then work towards getting a group that might complement it you don't get to see what they are and I'm not looking them up because the surprise is kind of exciting to me but I need all of those pieces to be on my board period to get my constellation my star secret whatever the case may be how do you make all that happen that's how rings work you put the same element in it could be all crow right it doesn't have to be an element in classic style it could be all crow the crow one sucks so you have to die for it to do anything it could be wind it could be you know a doll but at the end of the day you fill a ring in to get the effect i have a fire internal ring i need a fourth one to get a fire out external ring for a better bonus and i will do so but how do you make that pop in general and then all the same pieces for a constellation or a group how do you make all that pop? The crystal ball is where you make all that pop. This is the exterior enchanting section. This is where you level yourself up. You can click enchant. You can put these stars into your favorite pieces of gear. Of course, I'm going to level up the badge the most as possible because it's the one I'm going to be running long term. Hermit fire apps of freaking lootly. Go ahead and level it up. It gets better stats and that's it. Magic resist up, which is only relevant in the event. Magic resist does nothing else. This is not element resist. This is event because the event bosses do magic damage. That's why they're hitting all of us hard, man. That's why they're hitting us. So magic resist makes you get hit less hard. This is how you get it. They all have magic resist on them. Orange magic resist a better for the actual event now if you go over to exterior transmute you can get rid of stuff that you don't want oh, what is this hold on a second is this is not okay demon fox we don't care about that we can break it down transmute i get purple stars for that and i can go ahead and level up my stuff with the same purple stars now in a build over here this is uh, the star chest this is where you get this stuff from um you pick whichever one you want like i said i'm going a hazy moon and i'm going to be getting the shadow of the dark moon and the hazy moon respectively it's going to cost me 560 and 1800 that's a lot now if it's lit up 
Don't worry, man. If it says equipped, don't worry, man. You already have them. You only need one copy of each. You don't need a, the multiple at all of these. And if you get a second one, you get rid of it. You, you transmute it, right? Now, I need 560 and 1800 to make that pop. How do I do so? Well, I don't need this because this has nothing to do with what I want. So I can transmute it, get these yellow stars, and these yellow stars are going to be brought over to build. And I'm going to build uh, this uh, with uh, my acquired yellow stars. Every single star chest I don't want, I transmute. I go over to build, and when I have enough, I build with those stars. Or I can get them from drops if I'm very lucky. And not even very lucky, the drop rate is really crazy. I just haven't gotten the drops I'm looking for out of the actual astral event, which does mean, like I said, I'm going to be hitting this harder than ever. You can go to shop and you can get yourself your gorgeous, a gorgeous nonsense. You know what I'm saying? Your gorgeous, gorgeous nonsense. Um, uh, hold on, hold on. That's not the gorgeous. This is nice. Like, this is just regular event stuff, but this is what you need. So you get your witch gear out of this. Make sure it's for the class you need. And on top of that, you also, that's, which gear is what we just saw. Uh, the, the actual, uh, the actual, uh, you know, goes on your character, which hopefully I can get some of these hermit badges out of it. And then you can get chess packs as well, uh, for 115. I've already bought all mine for the week. So of course I'm going to be buying these at a later date as well. And uh, moving on with my day, as long as the event doesn't reset on me, I'll take a look at it. But either way, I'm going to be continuing to pick these up. I'm going to be continuing to do my runs to actually get my chest. You only have to do the first floor to get these rewards in the first place. The second one gives you better rewards, but you need to get your magic resist up to 600 to be able to go in. And even then you're probably going to be getting hit very hard. So please be good at dodging and turn your team effects off to be able to dodge. Uh, because you're going to be getting hit hard in that one. Get your magic resist up. The requirement is zero for the first ones and they hit hard. You know what I'm saying? It's 600 for the next one. So keep that in mind. But that's where you're going to be hitting it. You're going to get Sakura, Sakura Island uh, chest packs. And after that, you're going to be spending them on whatever the heck you want. Probably witch gear. Uh, I would say it's event limited, man. Of course, it's going to be witch gear. And then after that, you know, you're going to do your thing and you're going to be getting the drops from the actual event from just running it in general that are going to be giving you star chests. Go ahead and do a, at least a run a day, man, at least a run a day and you'll be happy you did. That's where you get everything for it. Uh, that's where you break it all down. Once you have stuff you don't want, you go ahead and transmute it. I'm not going to be using this at all, so I'm going to go ahead and transmute it. No care given. I'm going to build. I can build anything. I can sort. I can go into fire right here. Bam easy money all my fire stuff is in here i would like one more so i'm probably gonna work towards this one because it's cheap why build the expensive one right now man i mean i suppose i could and i can go ahead and put this in the dead center but in andrus piece andrus star pieces contain you do swap between two star pieces i don't know man i don't know i don't know what andrus does right we can even take a look though like every time you're confused on this stuff you can go to range astrolab you can go to star ring and you can take a look in here Andrus Sunblade. I need the I need all this stuff to make that pop, so I'm not even gonna worry about building that. I'm just gonna go ahead and at some point build that and see what it's like. I'm so close to the crow by default though that I'm gonna do that first. Um, I can go back to build and I can go right back to fire and I'm just gonna go ahead and pick the cheapest one that I can build. And it's gonna be this one right here. All I need is uh, 50 more and I can have an outer ring of fire ready to go and uh, in my back pocket. I can go ahead and uh, uh, build anything I want after that if I want to go ahead and build any constellations That's what these are already sorted into the hazy moon is the items that I'm looking for I already have the fire feather for the constellation. I'm looking for I just need these two pieces It's already sorted for me easy money I'm gonna build these or get these out of drops and I'm gonna have that constellation ready Whatever it does we're gonna find out as long as those pieces are on my board. I'm good to go. I'm excited man I'm excited now. Is it going to be the easiest to actually make a uh, pop off with the, getting the bonuses? No, I'm going to have to pick a ring that's actually going to be working for me. I'm going to do the outer ring for my fire and then everything internal is going to be this nonsense. But that's how it works. Now, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully that explained every piece of confusion around this system. It's very deep. It should be permanent. I believe it's permanent, right? They put it down here. You know what I'm saying? It's permanent. As far as Soul Link, by the way, this is just like, you got a power boost for just putting your favorite eye. Oh, by the way, I have the event weapons. We are going to be doing a review on them. Um, on top of a, so you know, tomorrow I'll probably be doing a review on these weapons and I'll also be doing a little bit of a, uh, a patented, not by me actually, patented by a member of the community, 
uh, soul card upgrade system that we're going to be calling the drama formula because I think it's pretty freaking fitting. You know who you are. If you know, you know, I like what you said. I like you, but two comments on two separate videos days apart. I'm going to apply them together and put a little bit more flesh on them. We're going to call it the drama formula on soul card meta and maybe other people have been doing so. Maybe other people have thought about it. Maybe other people have done it subliminally without thinking about it. But at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure, uh, I'm pretty sure you're the one who brought it to the community and this is the community over here, man. So, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, like it's, it's going to be officially attributed to you because you're the one who brought it to the forefront. It doesn't matter if someone else landed on Antarctica first. We only know what uh, Captain Cook said. Is Captain Cook the one who hit it? It doesn't matter at the end of the day. That's it for this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and click that like button, man. But you know me, only if you really liked it. And if you vibe with me, subscribe with me. I got you covered on uh, two, three videos a day sometimes on the best hidden gems on the mobile marketplace. Hands down. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.